Hello, Greer. Well, as you can tell, we've had quite a bit of rain um, lately, this week, and it's it's been good. We've needed some rain, and the animals are loving it, obviously. These animals are, anyways, not our livestock, necessarily. <laughs> um, but we've got just a busy day today, just seed saving. We're going to be um, working in the greenhouse some. Uh, I'm wanting to get my potage uh, garden ready so um, we need to tarp that we need to um, root some of my herbs that i have over here i'm going to take some cuttings and try to root them just all kinds of stuff i'm going to dry some herbs like it's just it's just a fun pre-garden garden day so i hope you enjoy coming along with us I'll get the seeds um, on the table and you can label you need to. Okay. I'll label them and all that jazz. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, we have just held on to these pumpkins for a long time and now we need to do something with them. We were wanting to save the seeds because we plan on planting a bunch and bunch and bunch of pumpkins this next year. So, um, um, to help feed the animals and all that stuff so we're going to save the seeds from all these lovely pumpkins also they're just pretty i love these naughty ones we had those for our harvest banquet um, i actually got this one from walmart so i'm not sure we'll see we'll see how it does but this was a really pretty um like teal colored one um in its prime and then a friend of ours gave us some of these um so yeah we're gonna save some seeds aren't we guys mm -hmm. do you like carving pumpkins or saving seeds better carving pumpkins <laughs> yeah, i don't know i guess some saving seeds, seeds. <laughs> it's fun to save seeds and then plant them and see what grows right yep one time i grew um cantaloupes and watermelons and then it just um grew a, um a potato plant <laughs> i don't think you I don't think you planted watermelon and it grew a potato plant. I think it's just a wild one. Oh, a wild potato? Uh -huh, that glue. Mm. Gotcha. Get Greer. She is loving it. Loving life. We're hoping Greer is going to have puppies for us. Not too long. Not too long. I don't know if anything loves a compost pile more than a chicken. Or one of our dogs. <laughs> hey. This will get your heart rate up, won't it? Yeah, it will be. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing I've never done is to take my existing um, herbs and take cuttings from them and root them um, for another garden. I know that's like beginner gardener kind of stuff, but I am a beginner gardener. So, um, this is the first year I'm doing that and we're going to do a little experiment. <clears throat> um, Adam got some of this, uh, root hormone, rooting hormone. And, um, so we're going to try some of them with this rooting hormone and some of them without, and I will let you guys know how they did um i'm planning on doing this with rosemary and sage um 
think that's probably about it today. Um, I'm also going to dry some of my other herbs like the parsley and things like that and um, just to have some pretty drying um, bouquets in the house and also um, I'm going to try to root some of those um, into some pots. I'm really not sure what I'm doing but um, I feel like that's just going to be gardening. Uh, it's just a lot of trial and error and figuring things out. Um, so here we go. Okay, so the directions say to um, take your cutting and uh, dip it. I've got some rosemary. It says to dip it in some water and then dip it in the rooting hormone and to shake off the excess. and then put it in. I hope these little cups are big enough. So I wanted to dry some of this parsley and I've never really done this before um, but I want to hang it up just so it's pretty in the house and um, and dry it out that way and then I'm actually going to take the roots from this and put it in a pot in the greenhouse and hopefully it'll grow back. <clears throat> more big ones like this don't we yeah okay all right oh yeah they're there don't know where they were wow that's a bunch of roots there does that look like parsley to you no <laughs> me though here's a big root in there. Mm -mm. It looks like something in the sea. I <laughs> know it does, doesn't it? Yeah. It smells so good. Yeah. I don't love parsley. I love parsley. Do you? You need two more. No, we're good. Is this the last one? My, yeah, that's the last my, one. My, my. I bet it's the last one, buddy. We don't decorate for Christmas with lights. We decorate them with herbs. With herbs, yeah. <laughs> it's not Christmas. Thank you for I doing know. this. But it was. Your wish is my command. <laughs> now we need to get the fly trap on so it looks better in here. Dada. Dada. Yes, sir. Dada. Yes, sir. Dada. No, said He's trying to say cool, but he said cold. Are they spread out enough? Yeah. I think so. Thanks, Dad. Oh. <coughs> oh. You're welcome. It's nice and warm in here. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's so cold today. Um. <clears throat> so... You have repotted what already? Uh, 
broccoli, cauliflower, and Swiss chard. Okay. And now what are you doing? These are beets. Okay. <clears throat> it helps it helps to um, start beets because one seed can have multiple plants on it. Did mm -hmm. you know that? The mm -hmm. the big round seed. Yeah. I mean some of these I've seen it like four four plants come off one seed. Okay. So by by starting them you can separate that. Okay. And then when we when we plant them, I think I'm gonna plant three or four together so they grow out into a clump. Okay. But if you don't separate them like this, they get too thick and they don't they don't get very big. Gotcha. When you when we put them out into the ground. Uh huh. <clears throat> it's kind of slow. But yeah. What else will we do in the wintertime on Wednesday night? <laughs> True. It's actually Tuesday, though. Is it? Uh huh. There's a stink bug on these. This <coughs> do you think stink bugs harm? I don't think so. So this is uh, romaine lettuce right here that we planted with the tomatoes. <clears throat> um, so, yep, we got 800 tomato plants started here in these trays. And then 100, about 100 lettuce. So, all right. Okay. What's in this little capsule? So that about does it for today. Thank you for joining us. And um, actually the next few videos that you're going to see are actually some podcast interviews that Adam and I did for our podcast. It's called Hard at Home. And um, I'll link it down in the description so that you can subscribe to it. But um, we recorded some really awesome podcast interviews and we recorded the video um, this was previously just recorded for members of our membership group, um, but since we are no longer doing our membership group, we've asked permission um, from our guests that were on the podcast if we can actually publish those on our YouTube channel, and all of them have been very gracious and said, oh, of course, yes. And um, so you'll see interviews coming up with Meg Holler on um, God's invitation to the table, which was a really fun conversation. Um, we talked to several other individuals. We talked to uh, Kate from Venison for Dinner uh, about milk cows. We talked to the guys from Raw Milk and Deadlifts uh, about milk cows as well. Um, there's a theme here, obviously. <laughs> um, and we talked to uh, Rose Duncan from Wholesome Roots about goats on the homestead. Uh, we just have some really fun conversations that we want you to be a part of. Um, and you can see our faces and you can see their faces and how we interact and um, all how they answer the questions and everything that we ask them. And so I think you'll really enjoy this um, little series that we'll, we'll be releasing for you in the next few videos. So we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.